Hi everyone! So today I'm going to be reviewing something I wanted to review for over five months now. It's the Tolly Moly's Cat Chew Wink Lipstick. And I fell in love with these the first time I saw them and I got three out of the seven colors that they have. I, I got them in the combo pack actually, it was three for $20 I think. And if you buy them individually, it's about the same price, like six something. And this is so different from any other lipstick I've ever tried. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the packaging first. Then I'll show you swatches and we can review how good it is on the lips. So here is the box that it comes in. You can see it labeled Cat Chew Wing Lipstick and there's a little cat and there's paw prints. There's the brand name at the bottom, Holy Moly. And I love this brand actually. And you can read some of the directions here. And on this side, here are the ingredients if you wanna go ahead and pause and read it. There is actually fruit water in here, so that is why it's going to be really, really fruity. And here is the back. And at the bottom it will just say um, the name of the color, and that's pretty much it. Now onto the exciting part. Here is what the um, bottle, I guess, looks like. It's a cat, obviously, and it's so adorable. There's cats. Ears, and there's also parts sticking out for the whiskers. Here are the names of the lipstick on the bottom. So you can see this one is... It's kind of faded away, but it says Red Cat on the bottom. This one is my personal favorite, Coral Pop. And the last one is Peach Vanilla. So inside of the bottle, you can see that it gives you quite a good amount of lipstick. Here you can see all the colors compared to one another. Here is Red Cat. This is Coral Pop, and this is Peach Vanilla, and the names are pretty accurate. So I'm going to go ahead and do swatches for you. Coral Pop. That is Red Cat. And lastly, here is Peach Vanilla. So you can definitely see how much moisture these lipstick have. Uh, it's really amazing next I'm going to be putting them on my lips because usually in reviews I kind of get really disappointed when reviewers don't get to get put swatches on their lips because I want to see it against a natural color and see how opaque it is and etc so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now I'm going to start off with the lightest color, which is Peach Vanilla. My skin is quite dry right now, and my lips are always dry, so <laughs> I hope you don't mind if it kind of looks disgusting or this dry skin, but I hope you are okay with it. So here's my natural lip color. Um, my bottom one is darker than my top one, so I can just use that to compare. Is it weird that you're just <laughs> looking at my mouth? So I'm going to go ahead and put on the Peach Vanilla. So this is what the peach vanilla looks like. It's, I think, exactly what the name of it is, peachy vanilla. It's like a light peach color instead of a pink color. And I really, really love this color. There is a tiny bit of shimmer in it, but you can barely notice it on your lips. I would say it's a semi-opaque color because you still see a bit of your natural lip color shining through but you also see the color so that's pretty nice. So I hope that was enough of the peach vanilla. I'm going to take it off with makeup remover and you can go ahead and try Coral Pop which is my favorite. Alright, so here I'm going to go ahead and put on Coral Pop. Sorry if you see little chunks of lipstick falling off and putting it on my lip because when I did the swatches, I pretty much ruined the tip of these because they are so, because they have so much moisture. That's why it's happening. So this is the Coral Pop color, which is my favorite. It is uh, one color, there's no glitter, there is no shimmer or anything like that. I really, really love this color. So I'm gonna zoom out in 
talk to you so you can actually see what it looks like from far away. Next, we're gonna go ahead and go on to the Red Cat, which is my second favorite. I really love how well this just glides on. So this is the Red Cat color. I really, really love this red color. So you could be the judge of this one. I really, really wanted a red lipstick, but I thought it would look horrible on me. So I'm glad I got this three pack, which has a light peachy color, a corally color, and a bold red color. So I really love these three. So now that we got the swatches out of the way, let's go ahead and get on with the actual review of it. And I'm going to tell you the promises that is in the description of this lipstick. So first, it promises that it is a lively color. There's a smooth texture. It does not emphasize the dead skin on your lips. It makes your lips look really moist and looks more curvier. And lastly, there is a delicious fruit fragrance coming from it. So I pretty much agree with this wholeheartedly. With the lively colors, it only comes in seven different shades. So I will be showing this at the bottom. They pick the shades very well. I think they are very standout colors. The smooth texture is definitely, definitely true. It glides on so easily and it feels so smooth, unlike ultra drying lipsticks that I've tried. And that goes hand in hand with it not showing your dead skin cells on your lips because I have that problem. I have dry lips, I have dry skin. Um, so I hate it when I, I usually don't wear lipstick at all because it feels so dry and it just makes my lips look horrible. So this is why I went with this lipstick. It's like heaven for that. And along with that, it makes it look moist even because it's very, it's kind of shiny and you can revisit the swatches. As it's drying, the shine goes away, but it's still there so I can zoom in on it for you. So this was the Coral Pop, this was the Red, and this is the Peach Vanilla. And it's still kind of shiny, but it's drying up. You have real, for those of you who have really dry skin and dry lips, I would recommend this definitely if you can't, if you feel like you can't wear lipsticks because they are so drying and they just make your lips look horrible like I did. I think these lipsticks are the answer to your call. This is made by a Korean brand, so you know it's going to be really high quality. Um, the place is, that is the cheapest, I think, would be to order from eBay, which is what I did. I got it in a three-pack from a US seller, so it didn't take that long to ship here, but I've also ordered a replacement for the Red Cat because I thought I lost it, but I found it later, but the replacement from Korea took about um, three weeks to come here, which is not that bad. So overall, I would give these a 4 out of 5. I would like it to be a bit more opaque and less shiny, but I get, I get how it's supposed to be shiny because it's very moisturizing and because of the moisturizing effect, it tends to wipe up really, really easily. So if I take my, say, my ring finger and I swipe it on my lips, see just how much lipstick it came off. That's a really big turn off for me. So you kind of have to reapply it. It's like chapstick, it wears off. What else? I think that's it for the pros and cons of this product. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I just wanted to make a bit more beauty related video because I haven't done that in a long time on this channel. So I got a request for making a video, I guess, using the e.l.f. products that I got in my annual e.l.f. haul and actually did a look um, for my senior portrait using all the e.l.f. products that I got. So here is one of the pictures I took or some of them that I did, so it'd be kind of a lengthy one because I usually don't put on that much makeup. 
but if you guys want to see that kind of video you can let me know in the comment section I have like three other products that are totally moly but they're more skincare type I have um, makeup primer and the egg pore tightening pack I think that's all I have for totally moly but I love Korean products so definitely gonna try to buy more I forgot to mention that in their cat collection I guess they also make cat mascaras cat um, lip stains and lip gloss I think that's a possibility I don't remember but I know definitely lip stains and mascara it's so cute I love these lipsticks they look so unique and beware they are there are China knockoffs of these so make sure it says totally moly on it or it says cat chew wink lipstick make sure so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on tuesday thanks for watching bye